friends. I am Miss Cherry with Ventura County Library. Thank you for joining me today. It's time for another edition of It's Not Magic, It's Science. So for today's project, uh, we are going to be doing a wax resist. So we're going to merge art and science together. And what you will need for this is a white or light colored crayon. White works the best. Um, also uh, watercolor, so if you have liquid watercolor, if you have a watercolor palette, or if you have a tube of watercolor, that works great. If you don't have any watercolor, another thing that you can do is um, use a little bit of food coloring, or you can use a dried up marker and put that in just a little bit of water to give your water a tint, and that should work as well. And then you're also going to want something to use as a palette. I am just using, I like to use something that would normally go in the trash. So I'm using this lid and I just covered up with a little bit of tape I used to cover up the holes. But if you have a palette, that works great. If not, something like a lid will work well too. And then you're also going to want a paintbrush. So what we are going to do is just take our white marker and a piece of paper. If you have watercolor paper, that works great. If you don't have watercolor paper, a thick piece of paper works or whatever you have will work. And then you're gonna take your white crayon and either create a drawing or a design or you can write a message. And I'm going to write, it's not magic, it's science. And then, as you can see, now nothing shows on my paper, right? Because I used my white crayon. I'm going to take my paintbrush and my watercolor and just brush over where I wrote my words. And so, after I am done doing that, you can see it went from nothing being on my page you can start to see it doesn't work right away you have to wait for it to dry you'll start to see your words emerging so this is another one that I used and I wrote the same thing it's not magic it's science you can see it there and then on this side your little happy face so you really want to press down with your white crayon and um, get as much of that wax as you can onto your paper with your crayon and so what's happening there, um, there's a word called hydrophobic, and that's what we call um, what we call something when it doesn't like to mix with water. And it's not that the wax and the water don't like each other, they just like themselves more. So they want to stay with their own molecules. And then what happens, the water likes itself and it stays with itself. That watercolor is all bunched together, but then there's this invisible force around us all the time, right? Do you remember what we call that? It holds us down to the earth. Gravity. So the gravity starts pulling the water over to the sides of the paper um, where it's absorbed into the paper, but it's resisting where we have the wax because the wax is hydrophobic. And so that's it, my friends. Um, have fun, create secret messages, pass them to your friends, or create cards and share them with loved ones, or maybe even a stranger, just for fun. Um, I hope you have enjoyed today's activity, and we'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.